Hello everyone, this is Jeremy and welcome back to my channel for more Chinese parents gameplay. We are finally approaching the end of the series and today's video will be the last episode for Chinese parents. In the previous episode, Matt Chi started to pursue Mabel, however it was too late because Mabel went head over heels with Tony Ye, who is supposed to be the hottest guy in school. Mabel seems to be also dating John Chu at the same time. Wow! How popular can she get? Will Tony Ye be able to impress Mabel with his nice body? Will Mabel stay devoted to John? Or will she end up with no one in the end? Mother was also very impressed with Mabel because she finally managed to defeat her longtime rival, Einstein's mother, in the face duel. Not only that, Mabel also defeated four other mothers in all other challenges offered to her. Her parents were so proud of her that they decided to bring her to Europe for a vacation during her school holidays. Mabel was also given a choice to select her dream job and she chose to be a white-collar professional. Gao Kao is coming. How will Mabel's ending be like? Let's find out now. Ha ha ha! I can request to rent an apartment. Let's try. <gasps> Success! Oh my god! I can now stay on my own! That's... That's super good news. That's very very good news. <gasps> I'm so happy! Okay, event. You left school with John Chu that day. Are you... Wait, is Tony yeah jealous? I think he is jealous. Okay, okay. Let's process this. I don't think hanging out with Tony Ye is uh, wise because it's already too late. I am too invested in John Chu. Like, I have spent like money on him. I've spent so much time with him. So, yep. Sorry, Tony. Next life, maybe. You are high school seniors now. The importance of this year is greater than you may realize. You have to fight tooth and nail if you want to come out on top. What university you enter dictates your whole future life. <sighs> so stressful. Life choice. For the final stretch before Gao Kao, your dad tells you to focus on your strong subjects and your mom tells you to focus on your weak ones. You decide to follow a balanced revision routine. Remain calm and make steady, steady strides in your study. IQ plus 600. <laughs> Turn, let's go. Spring Festival SMS. Every year during Spring Festival, your parents ask you to send your teacher a holiday text. Huh? This never happened before in Singapore. Maybe in China, I'm not sure. Why are there so many things to worry about? I'm exhausted. Oh no. That's bad. Fatigue. Give it your all. It's alright if you fail. Dad can take care of you. Don't feel stressed out about it. Just relax. Oh my god, this is the best dad ever. Don't you worry, child. Just take it easy and relax. I'll make you delicious food. Oh, that's so nice all of a sudden. On the day of Gao Kao. <laughs> You're our family's only hope. You better come home with good score. What's wrong with grandma? <laughs> oh dear. Okay, here comes the day of Gao Kao. So what should I do actually? Um, I'm not very sure though. Okay, uh, should I? I sh There's nothing I can do, right? I mean, I have... Did, I did whatever I can already. I have no idea what to do now. Probably just spend all my all my points. I don't know. To increase my IQ. Okay, I have studied whatever I can. Let's go to Gao Kao now. 
Many winters have passed, but I still remember that day as if it were yesterday. It was in the middle of June when I accepted the first great challenge of my life. My parents took me to the examination hall. Once there, I had to wade through a sea of countless parents to reach the gate. I turned around, waved, and then went in. My whole being went tranquil after reaching the last subject. Is my high school life over? Yes. It was over before we even had the time to bid it farewell. I felt a sense of relief during the days of the Gao Kao. However, the ensuing summer was filled with anxiety about the future, at least until that fateful day when the admission letter lay quietly waiting for me on the table. Letter of admission! Oh my god! This is so exciting, okay? What? You have been enrolled at our school after gaining a score of 377. Bring this letter of admission and register. So is this good or bad? I don't even know. <laughs> I okay, Zhujiang Vocational University. I managed to went I managed to go into a university. Am I right? Okay, let's continue and see. Photos, the passing of time, my memories, my past, what is the meaning of life? What's all this? Next page. I've actually never found workplace relations difficult, probably due to my experience as a class president. Oh wow! I'm really thankful for learning a special trait as a child, as it helped me greatly. Oh my goodness, my teacher often tells me I shouldn't favor one class over the other, but I just can't help, but I just can't help myself. My parents actually don't have any requirements for me, they just want me to be happy. I failed to meet my parents' expectations. Yikes! My parents were happy with my performance growing up. I was called the sensible child. When we are young, we follow our dreams without worrying too much. Everyone's path is different. One after another, we begin our careers. Ninji, run, Ninji runs around forts at night, especially when streaming. Sinology spends most day reading obscure documents regarding China. Notch enjoys working on smaller projects and might abandon one if it goes too well. Now that university life is coming to an end, I, as well as most others, have set out to find work. In the end, I became a company clerk. I finally become a meaningful white collar worker. I am a real office lady. I go in and out of the high-tech office building. I wear fashionable clothes and act in a very mature way. <laughs> My parents are proud of me. It's just that after the rent and electricity has been paid, I can't even afford a proper lipstick. Oh no, this is bad. Before you know it, you have a steady job, but your parents start fretting about your marriage. I knew that my parents would urge me to marry. Ultimately, they recommended me a few suitable partners. There was nothing for it. I just gave it a go. Oh! I can, I can actually choose John Chu. Blind date. Okay, I'm gonna choose him. Being in love. Having... Okay, many kisses. Alright, shopping. Make a proposal. And... Success! Marriage life, married life is perfect, and a new life is soon born. Everyone says children often take after their mother, yet don't this little baby, yet don't this little baby could inherit my great gene or not. The day has finally come, and a new life is born. I finally become a parent myself. You there? Yes, you. The one in front of the screen. Will you keep my child company? Excuse me? 
What? Do I have to control the child too? Is this an... This is a never-ending game. Oh wow, okay. Family level 2. Oh, so this is the next generation? Like Gen 2? I have unlocked new content as well. Gallery level increases you as you unlock more traits, professions, and collectibles across generations. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. The former child has grown up and has become a parent of their own. Oh, that's Mabel, look! It has been many years, and I, Mabel, finally have a child of my own. I'll be sure to give my child a good education and not to repeat the mistakes of my parents. What do you mean? Whenever we go back to your family home, I can't help but feel that you're exactly like your mom. Oh my god! <laughs> I can't believe this! Okay, so... Um, this game is pretty much never ending, I guess. Alright guys, it is time for me to give some of my personal opinions and reviews of Chinese parents. As you have already know, this is a live simulator game which took place in the Chinese family with very authoritative parents governing the life of their child. You get to control the child and decide what kind of life you want to live. Um, this game took me 6.7 hours to finish playing. After my first playthrough, I feel that this is actually a pretty thought-provoking game. Although I am not from China, I am an Asian and also living in Singapore. So I find many of the experiences in-game extremely accurate and also close to the heart. It made me recall about many fond memories in my younger days as a kid. And it also triggered me to rethink about my parenting style to my own daughter in real life. To be honest, I find some of the parts of the game pretty repetitive, like scheduling and fragment time. However, the events in-game added some spice to it, making it somewhat more interesting. I do feel that the game would be more fascinating if more event choices can be presented, because it seems like choices can only affect the stats of the child you are playing as. It doesn't really have any huge impact to the parents or the ending of the game. The good thing about this game is that it does have a replay value because at the very end of every generation, you will tend to unlock new traits for your next character to learn and so forth. So. If you ask me if this game is worth the price, I would say yes, it is definitely worth the price, but play it only if you don't mind doing repetitive actions every turn. I want to thank you for sticking with me throughout this series. I hope to see you in other of my game series. If you have enjoyed watching this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. Thank you and see you again.